Hello, Jimovic here. This time, again, um, a rematch. Well, the first uh, game wasn't streamed, so <laughs> perhaps uh, it's better call it the first game against Chufile. Uh, Czech Republic's uh, 1700 plus player uh, who visited the Warsaw Convention a few months ago. Didn't, we didn't get to play then, so we started to play now. I managed to win the first game despite some initial setbacks and it's time for game two. The uh, the time setting is 90 minutes but we agreed uh, for a 60 minute artificial uh, manually controlled uh, <laughs> uh, time limit because to be honest 90 minutes is just ridiculously long and let's get down to business. We did a bidding and I play it as US at plus 3 initial influence. And since I have Middle East, all that influence goes to Europe. I will be putting one to France since I have Suez and I will be spacing it, so there's not, that's not a problem. Mm, I don't have the factors of socialist governments, so I'll j have to boost Italy a bit more. And let's see how it goes. My hand is rather poor. Mediocre ops. And I have to hold Suez until later. Mm, okay. Let's see. Middle East is the obvious headline. As for the hold card, well, since I would like to play Vietnam Revolt as my last card in this turn, it's quite likely that I would like to hold Suez. And in that case, I expect I might not space this turn. Depends on the situation in South Korea, really. <clears throat> There are two viable approaches. One can just initiate the Korean War and then put the two influence into Korea or space the Korean War card and make sure to take Korea, South Korea before that. Both are valid in their own way. Well, there is a risk of that if you space Korean War it comes back and you just lose South Korea. So, I think I'll go with, unless, nah, I'll probably, oh, play is interesting, decolonization, so I assume he has the factors, he doesn't have duck and cover though, so I wonder what is his follow up. <coughs> Uh, domination in Asia is probably unavoidable, so uh, it's a good thing. But Europe is relatively safe, and that I get some initial influence, so, sorry, initial victory points from Middle East. So that he doesn't build <coughs> too big of an advantage. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious about what his follow-up will be. If he coops, I might not be able to coop back due to the threat to France. Well, he coops Panama, I coop it back, or I ran, and then since he took, uh, he put one influence in Algeria. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, that is disturbing. It 
disturbing, very much so. <clears throat> okay, I could rely on him out of France, but I don't really see the point, and I don't have a follow up. So I guess I'll just put two. Hmm. He has Europe scoring. I would just look silly. Okay, just in case. I assume he has Asia scoring. <laughs> Hard to say, really. In all days, I would have broke out of Iran as soon as possible, but now I have been, after some time, convinced that Europe indeed is uh, more important. And besides, well, the Middle East is already scored, Asia is quite likely to be lost. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Now he should be a little worried about coping Pakistan, since that would leave him open to a counter coup in Thailand. Now I don't have any car that would be considered a good candidate to use for a coup, but he doesn't know that. Oh, he coops after all. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that did not go well, and I can't recoup Thailand. Since if I just remove him from there, I can gain nothing. Whereas removing him from Pakistan, which has failed spectacularly, holds some value. Hmm, shit. <laughs> okay, this will be a difficult game. Five against one. Yeah. <laughs> that usually sucks. So, what will he do now? It would probably be best to coup. Oh. Okay. Now there's no real reason to delay the Korean War. Oh shit. Okay. I really don't like where it's going. Hmm, clever. <laughs> okay, I'm 
sure glad at least that failed. The problem is that if I coup something now, I surrender Angola. And I really would not like to do that. What I need to do is protect France from socialist governments. And okay. With Vietnam and Volts, we shall see. I might want to break Pakistan. Asia is minus seven at the moment. <laughs> so I need to hold on to Europe lest I get steamrolled. Oh, so he coops after all. Yeah, that could have gone better. Now Angola is kind of pointless since he would have just cooped it next turn. So, as uh, not to give him an easy target, I will go to Pakistan, as planned. Now that's better. Much better, in fact. I would have preferred for the hand to contain the sanitization as well. But being able to purge him is, well, <laughs> quite good. Quite good indeed. Still, very much depends on whether he has Europe scoring and or Asia scoring. Social governments could also be a problem since he could headline this card and dump Europe scoring for a plus one point for him. Uh, and he has that also a problem, but if it fails, at least I don't have to worry about it. and can take Pakistan, perhaps even India, perhaps even I can defend from Asia domination. And that would be something. Okay then, what's your plan? If he has Asia then he doesn't really have has to uh, doesn't really have to play it now since his domination is quite safe. I can't take Pakistan and India in one move. Still, if he does, if he doesn't coop now and play something like Asia scoring, that could be a bit of a problem for me since if I coup, I am likely to lose. Well, I am. I will certainly lose Angola, Lebanon, and Pakistan. Assuming he has a four up, and there is Nukrio Tesban still available. I need to remember to space fairly early in this turn. Fidel is a great candidate for that. Send so you no Descartes, so I'll probably be holding Suez Crisis. Ah, keep it out of the reshuffle. Also, always a good help with my Europe situation. It seems he has a dilemma. Oh, okay. You could do that, I guess. I have to participate. He won. <laughs> Still, it is a little bit weird. Okay. Let's go for Asia. Now, if he coops, I take India. 
and it's a draw. I think he might have been a little too greedy with these Olympic Games. It was interesting, sure, since he is perched and it's one up versus uh, very likely and eventually gained two victory points. But still. No, oh, China card it is. Okay, now, well, now I have to coup. And. Time to make up my mind whether it should be Algeria or Panama. Algeria does offer better odds, but Panama removes him from the region if successful. And I'm quite likely to win Algeria anyway, since he would need a three up, sorry, a four up cards to take Angola, Algeria, and Lebanon. Yeah, I think I'll try Panama. Ash! <laughs> okay. I'm not happy about that. Not at all. I do have great rolls. Sorry, great ops, but poor rolls. And he did have. Did have it. Oh, I see. Okay. I probably should play Comic Con first. Just in case he has independent. Oh no, independent reds are gone. Nasser no, event. Okay. I was wondering about going to Laos, Cambodia. Perhaps it's not the time yet. Hmm, still, I probably should have taken Lebanon first. Then again, I would have lost Algeria, and I did. Okay, what will be in the red? The factors! It's a bit wasteful, really. <laughs> My low rolls. Pull through. And it seems that both Asia and Europe are are going to come in turn three. Mm. Blockade. Okay, no point in going that direction now. Hmm. Okay. Can't really protect Europe from socialist governments entirely, so I won't even try. I will break India. And, and, and. I got socialist governments. He got both scorings, and he has no means to defend himself from a domination in Europe, except for a possible Red Scare blockade combo. Therefore, I cannot headline the factors. It is quite likely that he will headline Europe scoring. Though he does not know that I have the factors, still. Would make some sense. He might also headline Asia scoring. 
it's nothing except for the factors can mess it up hmm oh and great news I got both the cards no let's not risk it A safe not <laughs> damn should have been the factors should have been the factors I'll have to play the China card this turn since I have way too many poor Soviet events four, no, one, two, three, four, five of them And the big coup goes to Libya and fails. Hmm. It might be time for China already. But also need to be careful careful about Europe. It just might take two of my two stabs. I have a problem. Okay, so I'll be spacing decolonization and socialist governments. Since it's a bit unsafe to space decolonization this early. Hmm. Wonder about what to hold. He plays Europe reasonably fast. I might dump the goal. And that way I would be able to hold perhaps even the factors. Ah oh, no. I, yeah, probably not an option. I'll have to hold the standardization and Suez anyway. That's too bad. Okay, let's see what he does. Does he decide to fight for Europe? Which is reasonable, I guess, especially given the ops. Okay, he doesn't fight for Europe yet. I sure hope he doesn't draw, didn't draw five year plan, so let's space. Good, my rules are still low. <laughs> Oh, now that is brilliant. Okay, nowhere to go really, so another space. And I have the Rentgen power! The official peeping tom of the Twilight Struggle. <laughs> Good, okay. How many ops do I have left? Two, four, and one extra from the goal. So five in total. Go two into Mexico, probably one to Guatemala, Sahara states, Nigeria, and that's five. Okay. I might fight for. Asia a little bit. But perhaps later. Uh, 
It would be great to get an early candy in the mid war. This is I have accumulated quite a bit of these poor cards. Hmm, perhaps I just skip Guatemala. After all, it's it's a battleground. <coughs> makes sense. It makes sense to fight for the battleground <coughs> before going to a non-battleground access gaining. Okay, <laughs> it's a bit of a cruncher. Uh, a non-battleground, which does not grant access to another battleground and only protects one and I have. So, Guatemala. Mm, you probably should secure India. Perhaps put one extra into Panama to guard it against Voice of America. Oh, huh, interesting. Reasonable. Can say it's not. And so we enter mid war. I get to steal the coup. <laughs> Can't complain about that. Blockade. Very good. Cultural revolution. Also very good. So I will discard the standardization to blockade. Space with play chair. And let's see how it goes from there. So, what will we headline? Very unfortunate that I wasn't able to hold the factors since the factors with the space peeping tom power it's really something. Mm. No, that's unfortunate. I will quite likely lose Mexico and there's nothing to be done about it has to be Junta mm -hmm. let's go to Chile perhaps just to make sure I'm not erased from the region. No, that was not sufficient. Okay, so now there are three problematic regions which can have their scoring cards appear. So it is Asia, Africa and Central America. So this Asia is 7, Africa will be 4, nothing to be done about that. Central America could be a lot, a lot, really. I 
um, I, oh, I might be optimistic about South America, perhaps. Middle East is shaky. It all depends whether he, he gets Muslim Revolution or I get Sadat, Camp David. Oh. That's hmm expensive, sure. It seemed a bit premature. Not like I could have done anything about Southeast Asia. And he could have taken Mexico from me. Oh, so that's why he didn't. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was huge. Also means that I can relatively safely move from Chile to Uruguay and the likes. Okay, Fidel is still unaccounted for, so I can't take Cuba. Okay, India first. I might lose it in the Pakistani war, which would have been huge, sure. But I, I, I don't really see what else I could do here. I mean, I could expand in Middle East, which hasn't been scored yet. But it's all the vulnerable triops event. Okay. It's a VP advantage is getting a bit disturbing, really. Hmm, that failed. I might have to event how I learned. my one and only good region. It's nice since I failed to get this space bonus. Okay. I'll think I'll defend Che Guevara. Oh, sorry, I <laughs> space well space Che Guevara. Yes, I feel I need, need to redu reduce his advantage. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. I'm not dominated yet. Okay. <coughs> Still, things got a little bit disturbing this turn.
Okay, and what should I do now? I could just take the two VPs, but I think I shouldn't be greedy yet. I need to improve my position first. Mm hmm South America scoring Who knew? And ABM and Flower Power each needs to be held for a bit due to missile so envy threat. Islands for progress. Also great. I think I'll headline the purge though. That would force him to coup in Africa. Hmm, I have to headline the purge with all the unaccounted US two up events. The Voice of America, grain sales. Well, CIA is still around, so that might be an extra problem. Colonials. He does have the China card. Oh. That evil, evil, evil man. Mm -hmm. Now I have to purge. To prevent whatever he's about to do from escalating. One downside of having a great hand is having not so many great cards to discard. I have one. My flower power is an option, I guess, but with Korean War, Arab-Israeli War and Brush War already in the discards or in the removed cards, it's not really a factor. Only in the Pakistani War is around. Okay, where will he go? Mexico, and I got lucky. And my weak rolls still hold. Okay. <laughs> that could have ended up much worse than it did. Now, let's go for a control of South America. I certainly did get lucky <laughs> with him missing this coup. <clears throat> Especially since even if he took it by one, he would use the China card to take control of Mexico and it's 10 points. Yes, I suspect that he might have be, uh, decide to might decide to spend the China card anyway. Mm -hmm. This is a problem which I can't really do anything about. Another big dilemma is where to use ABM. I'm still not sure about that. So I think I'll just go for my control and see if he will first place middle is scoring for three uh, yeah, three victory points second decides to boost his position in Central America or Africa now if he takes Nicaragua and Haiti I could Panama Ah, uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> yeah, probably should have went for an early Panama coup. <laughs> I so often forget about arm trace and that I really should prevent it. Especially if my opponent is purged. 
Okay, he does nothing. He seems to be taking his time deciding. So there are good odds that he doesn't have neither Central America scoring nor Africa scoring. As well, if he did have Africa, then coping is obvious. If he did have Central America, then taking Nicaragua and Haiti are obvious moves. If he has neither, then I will go for Panama. That I will ignore. Hmm. Or will I? Okay, he might be hesitant because of the cooping, uh, the millops for me. Let's keep him hesitating for a while longer. Since I would rather he didn't coop in Africa. His weak hand is perfectly suited for that, just that, but as long as he wants to prevent me from gaining any millops, he might decide not to do it, which is beneficial for me. And now... Whoa! Ah, my roll actually succeeded. Now ain't that something. That doesn't seem right, really. Had he cooped in Africa, I would have probably used flower power to break Angola. Now, Let's gain some victory points. And what do we have here? Hmm, Fidel. That's rather useful. And I'm slowly running out of coup targets. I when I use grain cells to steal Zyra. Then it will be only Angola left. If I used nuclear subs to further pummel it down, I will have no crew target whatsoever. So, long story short, the position is promising. Since he played China this early, I expect him to have at least two problem cards. Since he can space only one. I, pro by problem cards I mean stuff like Voice of America, or is it played already? No. Or Colonials. Something like that. Perhaps precisely that. So Voice of America and Colonials. Oh, that evil man. Hmm. We will bury you, okay. So it was safe for him to play it. In the Pakistani war. Huh. Good thing I got it before handing him the flower power. <laughs> okay, so Zyra it is. Hmm, another failed coup. Mm -hmm. So I guess I will have to initiate the nuclear subs initiative. I should also threaten him in Central America just to make sure his attention is focused over there rather than in Africa for the time being. 
since Central America domination of or lack of thereof is a bit cheaper than in Africa. Okay, that is also nice. So he doesn't have Voice of America and he doesn't have CIA. Hmm. Yeah, let's let, let him have it. Uh, five year plan should only improve, sorry, worsen his problems with all the cards he's about to get unless he gets bird trap okay that did not go well hmm. okay the one in Nigeria was unnecessary I forget that I will launch nuclear subs and then it would have been even good to induce him to take Nigeria since I'll be able to coop it okay he's considering things so it's quite likely that he does have the Africa scoring so if I go for nuclear subs which I have to do. He will be able to score domination on me first. Yeah, that's the one. Come on, really? Really? <sighs> okay. Is there anything I would like to salt? Crane self would be nice. Would have been nice. Hmm. Perhaps people, I should have went for an, a coup in Angola instead of Zaire, because then an effect is guaranteed. It, he would have had to spend some time reestablishing control of Angola. Still, he could have done that and taken well, Zimbabwe, for example. So that's not really a problem. Mm -hmm. Marshall plan. Oh. <clears throat> a bit late. Better light than never. Okay. Finally. <clears throat> I started with Angola and with a high card since well due to all the Angolan events it's better to have a bit more in there. <laughs> Mm hmm okay let's see if, if her little guy works come on <laughs> mm, okay I guess it will have to be John Paul I won't waste, waste time to space this turn and it's nice to halt Muslim revolution So that I go don't get into problems there. He's relining me. Ok, 
okay at least that didn't work now it's decision time do I want to event salt negotiations CIA created will be dealt to us in the next turn. 15, yeah, there will be a shuffle. Uh, having DEFCON at 5 is not exa exactly beneficial for me. Still, it is grain sales. Oh, seriously, you have got to be kidding me. Okay, so how many was that? Hmm, okay, oh yes. Right, what about Gunman? It's still in the discards. Okay, so you need to make up your mind. Either you protect Central America, which you did, <laughs> no, it's actually a bit of a problem. Okay, let's just take what's available. <clears throat> and he got the CIA. shouldn't be brave enough to headline it. Okay, what else did he get? Voice of America, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, I sh really should have checked that earlier, before I made my final move. Hmm. Quagmire is out, so no rod is very interesting. But one big question is should I headline bird trap? Okay, another question is can I do anything about Central America? And I cannot. So there are two choices here. <laughs> I could headline bird trap, which could help him with his problems. Mm, with uh, the US two op events. But would uh, made him keep, sorry, hold CIA. Or I could headline Usuri River Skirmish. Make a mess in Asia, establish a domination perhaps, which is also great. Oh, there's also colonials. Now he has at least two events. Bear trap would have been a little bit too beneficial for him. happens next? He plays CA. I coup something with it. No idea what, to be honest. Yeah, probably... Yeah, <laughs> probably still have no idea. <laughs> he uses it to secure talent a bit. Okay. And I use Warsaw Pact form to steal talent from him. All space, Muslim Revolution, and Che. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, that's quite a lot of problem cards. Mm, 
NATO. Okay. What can I coup? <laughs> Mexico is actually, actually the best target, but it has just been scored. Yeah, okay, it didn't matter anyway. So, hmm, 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 yes, he is in a world of pain. Let's take talent from him. Naturally, playing China is not an option since oh, it's just not worth it, especially with gunmen around. Do I have any other card I could play there? No. Okay, next order of business, spacing. Spacing of... I don't what, know what should go first. Probably Che Guevara. There's a chance Muslim will be rendered... How should I put it? Okay, inactive. Due to AOX uh, coming to life in the late war. So if he spaces and succeeds, prevents, preventing me from a second attempt, and my attempt fails, so I won't be able to discard a card. Mm, I might still get a free ride for Muffin Revolution. If well, if uh, if Avax get uh, gets activated before I have to play it. Okay, what should he do now? Probably protect North Korea with you know, shuttle diplomacy. NATO even. Okay. Protecting Asia. It's five seven. I don't have too many ops this turn. Apart from Brezhnev, perhaps, but not yet. And this space roll succeeds. Let's see about his roll. Okay, later, if I I'm able to space. I will do so with my limbs. One small step. Hard to say, really. Uh, Kanda, obviously. Hmm. Perhaps Jordan. Since Europe will be locked for good. No, of course, sorry. Argentina, of course. Since Tasha the Betrayer is coming. Oh, I get to space one more time. And my rolls are still consistently low. One tiny problem is that I get to space only four ups now. <laughs> Uh, it's been some months, I think, since I last have been able to reach the final stage of the space race. Still, it was fun. Okay, let's see about his gifts for me. Okay, now let's do what I have to do. Activate Norad. Play Brezhnev. No idea where to be honest. And Bear Trap. Which might be a little helpful for him given all the cards he holds. But he'll be holding a five year plan, probably. Forget the colonials. 
I should even get ask not. Colonials are particularly nice since I'll be able to mess him up in Asia. Probably establishing a domination there. Perhaps even forfeiting the play of Norad to do so. Okay. That makes sense. I probably still back with Brezhnev. Okay, where are my colonials? Come on. Oh, here they are. Okay, that's the obvious part. Yeah, let's keep him a little troubled in Asia. Okay, and his final move will be Ask Not. And I will discard a South African unrest to it. So I just might get another prob problem card from him. Hmm. Or I could just steal Indonesia. That is also promising. Angola needs some extra protection. Okay, if he gets Brezhnev, he might decide to get rough in Asia. Not really sure about my last move. It might have been better to just retake Zaire. He would use Ask not to do the same for to me. Hmm. Hard to say really. Okay, is there any scoring that would trouble me? Nope. Domination, domination, control, domination. Nixon, no problems with that. And here comes the late war. Yeah, that's a little unfair. Europe, Africa, and grain sales. <laughs> All right. He goes first. <laughs> and I actually get to Q, sorry, to space. Well, unless he plays aims, terrorism, and win the, wins the game. Sorry, not aims, purge. If he plays the purge, I might be forced to headline, we will bury you. <laughs> yeah, that would have been quite a way to lose a game. Aims, terrorism, and the purge. Now, what should I do if he headlines Eldritch Aims? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, perhaps I shouldn't have been so happy about the space track. It is a bit unlikely, true, for him to have all three of these cards. 
Not still. I have lost dwarfs odds. Okay. I will not be headlining Will Bear You to ABM. That's still a card. ABM. What will he do with it? Okay. Something of a problem, but not really significant. Okay, what should I do now? Just to be safe. Oh, I get to discard it with Latin American Debt Crisis. Aims is not a problem yet. Sorry, Purge is not a problem yet. Aims might be. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go for Europe first. Although still, if he discards my Latin American death crisis... Oh! Okay, but I still get to coup. <laughs> so no problems there. But now I need to space it. Hmm. <laughs> Failed. <laughs> okay. wondered about what should I do next I mean should I use China card to steal Thailand then use Nixon to steal China there's a lot of theft in this game <laughs> okay no more no more of that okay Let's keep it simple for a while. Oh, okay, that's one thing I should have done, and will do if he lets me. Finally, realign him out of Cuba. That did not go as well as I had hoped. Especially since with Ortega around and my space situation the way as uh, as it is, I really can't put any influence in Cuba yet. Hmm. If he just Oops, Haiti. Then this junta would have been for oh, not much really. What 
else is there? South America, Middle East and Asia. South America is acceptable as it is. In Middle East, there's nothing I can really do to improve my position. So let's focus on Asia. Yes, I think I'll go with China to North Korea. Then restore it to Nixon, play Yuri and Samantha, so that I could just dump Latin American debt crisis for free due to my another space power. I do wonder what is he thinking about. So, recouping in Haiti should have been obvious, unless one has too many problem cards. Okay. No reason to lose Nigeria. Did I steal a card from him this turn? I did. So he'll be playing 5 year plan as his final move. <sighs> Just good to know, I guess. Chernobyl first, okay. No more Asia. That does mean that he'll be able to secure Cuba. But still. It would take a four up for him to <coughs> repair North Korea and then turn nine. So it's a bit unlikely. Since, well, I have to steal the coup for that to happen. I do have an annoying situation since that even if I do steal a coup, I have nowhere to coup. No good target. Every single one and two stability battleground in the mid war regions is mine. Well, I'm not saying this to brag. Perhaps a little, okay. <laughs> but that's a real problem for the US player. Especially if, which is not the case this time, mm, the situation is problematic in the early war regions. Okay, Cuba. Okay. I'll take that bats back, thank you. And discard. Oh, purge, duck and cover, and terrorism. Now that is unfortunate. OPEC, it's a little plate. Okay, what's the situation in Asia? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Assuming I still Indonesia and North Korea. It's still 7, 6 in his favor. How annoying. Drink and warning drink is... Because... Okay, gunman. So I don't get to have NORAD influence anyway. In that case, it's duck and cover. This 
still enemy still around. Or blockade, no, okay, blockade is gone. Should have remembered that. Missile envy is still available. So there just might be might be this tiny problem <laughs> for me. Plus I have three somewhat problematic cards, none of which I can space. Actually I won't be playing the colonization for him, so that will be my discard card. Okay. Nothing to be done there. To be honest, I'm not sure where can I or should I play. Yeah, let's purge him first. <coughs> Then terrorism, jump all. Perhaps a realignment in South Africa. But the board is pretty much locked for now. Oh, I could trying to prove my position in Central America, but I was going to say the game is won. Okay, that failed. Okay. <clears throat> Somewhat regrettable, but since I don't have any war cards I guess I can live with that. expected. He did have the Asia scoring. So now let's work towards improving my position in Central America. Though perhaps I should focus. Yeah, I should have played John Paul immediately. <laughs> I really don't know what I was thinking. After all, Solidarity is still in the game. That's when it happens sometimes when you have uh, pretty much one game and you just stop thinking about. These all these little details. I guess independent rats means that he doesn't have solidarity, but still, rules are rules after all. Okay, realignment. Which actually succeeded. That's nice. Next Pershing, hopefully to fill South America. Sorry, South Africa. Oh, how is Middle East? Hmm, still around. I guess that means he doesn't have Iranian hostage crisis. 
he just might have the scoring. Hmm. Europe, okay, Europe is out. Yeah, I'll need no rat. Might be a bit wasteful, but still, it would have been a bit silly if he had the scoring card and I would just let him have it. And let's see how my realignments work. Yeah, why not? What about the other Soviets? Yeah. Okay. And now for the turn 10. Mm, reformer is available. Iranian hostage crisis as well. And if you have less reformer, I really don't have a good headline. Because normally I would have headline special relationship. Though I guess how I learned. Despite wasting no rat. Which was a bit useless in this game, to be honest. Hmm. Okay. Should I let him have it? Have the coup? Yeah. NATO, just to make sure, is active. I have fully brand, so West Germany makes sense. Although I also have Suez Crisis, so the same goes for France. I don't need to remember to play an early Glasnost in case he does have the reformer. Something of a problem. Anyway, let's steal North Korea. Yeah, perhaps I shouldn't have allowed this coup. It was a bit careless on my part. Also need to work quite a bit towards domination in Asia. Although if he plays in the Pakistani war against me, it will be just a saving move against being dominated in Asia. Oh, sorry. How many countries do I need? Five, three, six. It five is a bit much. I can easily make it eight six, but then it would have been just a draw. So I need to take two of them. Okay, Central America Skunk is gone. Since he's not playing it, I assume that he doesn't have Middle East scoring as well. That leaves South America. Now can he do anything about it? I have five countries, so it is possible for him to... Oh, come on! Ah, what an evil man. Now I don't get to 
Oh, but I will get to Space Glass Nost. <laughs> yeah, that's also good. So I'll hold two cards. Swiss will certainly be one of them. Probably Willy Brandt will be the second. That means I will play the sanitization. Yeah, but okay, I shouldn't have played. Oh, he does have it. How annoying. Seems I was wrong after all. Oh, forgot. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I could have done about it now that Reformer has been played. So, let's go to space. Come on! <laughs> okay. <coughs> that was not successful. As much as the game is still won, I'm not really happy about my final moves. Okay, let's just ride it to the end. Some coops in Central America. Perhaps. <laughs> Guess he had the same idea. Hmm. There are some weird visual artifacts, so I need to re-enter the game since there's some blinking on the fields. Here alignment. Okay, that's optimistic. I guess. Yeah, perhaps the stylization is not as good as I would have liked it to be. I think my final move will be an either in break in South America to wrap him of presence or in Central America in Cuba unless he protects it. Okay. Let's try some Hail Mary realignments as well. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that was unexpected. Oh, you want big breaking Cuba after all? Event. Look, that's a nice way to end the game. But I'm curious. 
what's the real amount. <sighs> okay, thank you. And thank you for watching. Now it's time for some private chat, so let the recording end. Goodbye.